The big difference between robots, androids and cyborgs. Artificial intelligence has been a booming industry since it came into existence. Artificial intelligence has acted as the main driver of emerging technologies like big data, robotics and IoT. And it will continue to act as a technological innovator for the foreseeable future. It's the artificial intelligence that gave birth to the technological gifts like the robots, androids and cyborgs. But the obvious question is, what is the difference between them? Are cyborgs different from robots? Is android something that powers the robots? Or is it something else totally? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Hey everyone and welcome back to yet another video from our channel. We hope you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, we will be talking about the major differences between robots, cyborgs and androids. We will be doing a deep dive into each of them. So if you are new to this channel, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. You might have seen these staple figures in mostly science fiction movies and TV shows, where all of them are just pictured as a human robot. However, most of the robots that the shows claim to be are all different. Hence, here we are to debunk the differences between them. A robot is defined as a machine that is programmed with the help of a computer and is able to carry out a complex series of actions. These robots could be guided with the help of an external control device or may be controlled by a control that is embedded within. Robots may be constructed in a way that it can evoke human form. However, most robots are simply task-performing machines designed in order to stock functionality rather than expressive aesthetics. Androids, on the other hand, are more on the human side of robots. These are humanoid robots or other artificial beings often made from flesh-like material. Androids were assumed to be completely in the domain of science fiction and were frequently seen in movies and television. Android robots could be seen in popular anime like the Dragon Ball Z series too. However, recent advances in technology and IoT now allow the design of functional and realistic humanoid robots. Cyborgs are something completely different from what we think they are. The word cyborg is a short term for the term cybernetics and organism. This implies a being that consists of both organic and biomechatronic body parts. A cyborg is not the same thing as Bonix or androids. A cyborg implies an organism that has restored function or enhanced abilities because of some kind of integration of an artificial component or technology. The DC fans might know what I'm talking about. Androids and cyborgs are most frequently seen in science fiction movies and TV shows and are thus being pictured as human robots very frequently. While an android is almost a robot that is designed in a way to look and act like a human being with some representations taking liberties in giving them emotions, cyborgs are simply living beings transfused with robotic parts integrated to its body which extend its capabilities and which cannot be removed quite easily. These beings have mechanical and electrical implants like pacemakers and robotic limbs fused into their body. Thus, this integrated part becomes a part of the cyborg's body. Although most of them can be seen generally in science fiction movies, they have been coming into reality little by little. A lot of research is going into the creation of robots with Asimo being an excellent example. Androids are mostly seen in human forms, whereas cyborgs are not necessarily human. Even animals that have non-organic attachments can also be called robots. This goes far beyond prosthetic limbs for animals as extensive research has gone into utilizing cyborg insects that can be controlled for whatever reason. Thus, androids can never be considered as living beings as they are just robots and cyborgs indeed are living beings. When an android dies, it can be repaired in order to reactivate it just like a robot or a machine. Whereas if a cyborg dies, there happens to be no way for an organic part to be repaired and regenerated. But the non-organic part may be scavenged to be reused, but the organic part withers away. Now, coming to robots versus cyborgs, these once again might seem like the stuff of science fiction as well. They might be, to some degree. However, most people do not know that these cyborgs and robots do exist in form which are not only depicted in movies as such. The major difference between the two of them is the presence of life. A robot is basically a very advanced machine powered with technologies like artificial intelligence. They are mostly automated and require very little human interaction. In contrast, a cyborg is a combination of a machine and living organism and does not necessarily need to be human. 
It could be a dog, cat, or a lion, in fact. This living component in a cyborg is what separates them from the category of a robot. It is because of this a cyborg is considered to be having a life in it, that it is alive, whereas a robot is not. A robot is just capable of doing what it is programmed to do, whereas a cyborg, especially a human cyborg, exercises free will to do their own activities. These robots can be found working in factories and industries, accomplishing menial and repetitive tasks without getting tired like humans. Thus, robots are considered better than humans at these tasks, as they are very quick. People with robotic prosthetics are also referred to as cyborgs. Even people with pacemakers are considered as cyborgs as their life depends in some way on the continuing functionality of the electronic device that keeps the heart's rhythm. Another major difference between them is their complexity. Robots can be fairly complex like the ones working in a factory or in an industry. However, there are also robots that are extremely simple. These robots are included in kits that are made available to young children in order to spark their enthusiasm and curiosity, and to basically show them the principles on which the robots are made. Whereas the mechanical part of a cyborg is quite complex as this part has to cooperate with the organic parts in order to function properly. Therefore, some prosthetic arms can function pretty much like a real limb, and some people can even reach out and grab things. It can be argued that an android could be passed as a human in natural light. Thus, if you're someone who believes in the aforesaid C-3PO from Star Wars and our Giscard Reventlov from Isaac Asimov's The Robots of Dawn are robots, not androids. The reason behind this is pretty obvious, and by no stretch of imagination can they pass as humans. These artificial beings can also be differentiated on the basis of their purpose, structure and abilities. Androids have been created to serve as a companion and be helpful to us humans, whereas cyborgs are just people whose impairments got repaired with mechanical parts in order to make their lives easier. While cyborgs can communicate and interact with humans through verbal and non-verbal means, androids typically have enhanced strength and are able to survive in extreme conditions, conditions which could pose a threat or sound dangerous to humans and cyborgs. However, a cyborg can think and act like a human, whereas an android or a mere robot cannot. Androids are mostly created by humans or companies that are specialized in creation of such robots, whereas cyborgs can just be enhanced or prosthetics. Thus, cyborgs are more suited to fields that require artistic behaviors and creativity, marketing, advertising, and socializing, whereas androids are much better suited at jobs that require less creativity, such as those in manufacturing or mining fields. All in all, each one of them is specialized in doing tasks that are well suited to them and can ease human tasks at hand. With more and more advancements in these technologies, more robots, androids, and cyborgs are getting specialized in their work. With consistent efforts, one day, humans are believed to achieve perfection in their field. It has been estimated that there will come a day when these artificial beings will take over every human job and increase the already increasing unemployment rate. Do you think robots would take over human tasks one day? Will there be a time in future where robots can achieve human-level intelligence? Will there be more robots and less humans in future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya!